Hi everyone, I'm here with an unusual video. It's a haul from Timu and as my title said, I thought I would never order anything from Timu or that I ever would make a haul with Timu as a collaboration. Um, but then something changed and I will just explain what happened. Um, as you know, if you know my channel, that I have a stamp company and we are designing our own stamps. And um, I found cheap copies of my stamp designs stolen and sold from a seller on Timo. And that was the main reason I would never um, make a haul or collaborate with them. And I got asked a lot by them if I would like to collaborate. And then sometime I uh, answered back and told them quite angry that I will never do it because of that reason. And I was super surprised, but what they did was they asked me to give them all the products that are originally my products and they removed them from their site. Um, I didn't expect this and it made me really happy that they they really care about this problem and I just can recommend if you are an artist and if you find something that a seller on Timu copied from you and sells over there just get in touch with them and let them know about the problem. Yes and that was mainly the reason why I said yes to a collaboration and I have a super big haul to share. Um, it should be a 10 minute video but it became quite long. Um, I try to make it as quickly as I can and you already saw me quickly unboxing all the items and I will go through them in the video. I purchased mainly stationary supplies, um, some brushes, some papers and something for the kids. And I did not buy any craft supplies where I should be or would be afraid that this might be a pirate copy from another artist. So I didn't shop any stamps or stencils or dies. Um, here you can see the lovely desktop organizers I got. And I really could use these because I had so much laying around just in boxes and very unorganized and I really like um, these ones. I got a lot and you can see they are all filled up. Let's start with the rest. Here I'm having some acrylic blocks which I need for stamping and they are protected with a thin frosty, frosty foil. Um, these are usually clear and sticky to your stamps but I was not able to remove the foil. You need something sharp like a knife to, to pull up the edge of it. Next, I have some plastic scraper tools and I think they should be usually used in the kitchen or maybe for um, creating um, clay stuff. But I thought these might be quite funny to use on the gel plate to make some marks. I have to say that they are not super perfect. Um, there is some leftover plastic on some of the edges that you might uh, cut away if possible. And also some of the of these um, edges line up um, almost identically. So it's not a different tool in the end. Uh, but I think it will be funny. Um, I will give you a list of the products in the video description so you can check those out. Um, here is some stuff that I've ordered for the kids. These are some fun ballpoint pens. Um, these are meant to be given to my son because he loves such funny stuff and um, yeah. There was not much that I could order for him so I thought these might be nice and I, I already know that he is um, looking forward to get them in his hands. Um, they are writing perfectly. I like them. Um, yeah, I ordered some for me because this is something I have tons of pens and markers 
but I never find a ballpoint pen and I ordered a pack. I think these are seven. They look quite pretty. Um, they work perfectly. I have them already in use. Um, yes, and the colors are also quite nice and two of them I have given already to my daughter um, the orange and the yellow one and the rest is all around our house so we have always a ballpoint pen within reach um, then I got a bullet journal um, because mine is running out and I needed a new one and this is a dotted A5 journal I have some issues with getting the foil off um, I love to use a bullet journal just for planning um, all my business stuff and all the appointments I have and if I have something to do on my blog or on the shop blog all that kind of stuff and therefore I'm using a bullet journal um, yeah it's, it's a nice little journal. It was not very expensive and that was the reason that I purchased it. I also um, got some markers and we will try those out in this journal. Um, these are kind of some magical pens or marker pens. They change their color when you go on top with the other side of the tip so you have one side that is colored and the other side uh, will create a different color when you go over it and I will just go through these um, markers they are quite fun I thought they might be nice to be used in the bullet journal to write um, headlines or just the days um, and I already used them in my bullet journal. I will now speed up that process a little bit uh, so you don't get bored. I just flipped over the page and you could see that um, they don't bleed through the paper, which is great because otherwise it would not make sense to use them in a bullet journal. Now let's unbox one of these desktop organization tools. Um, they are super nice. I really like them. I also like the look of, of them. They don't look very cheap. I had them um, already on my wish list over on Amazon, uh, but they are uh, not as expensive on Timo. So you always have to um, keep an eye on the products you want there because you get them sometimes at a very low price level. Sometimes it's just half of the price um, that you will get them anywhere else. And this one is so uh, perfect. I got, uh, I have two of them and um, you saw them in the beginning and they are both filled with all my uh, pens and markers and washi tapes. Um, let's see some of the papers. Um, this is a rice paper, a normal white, very thin um, paper that is usually be used for some, I think it's called sumi painting. Um, I love to use these for jelly printing and the reason is because they are so thin but they are, um, they can take the wet medium of paint without tearing and they, uh, they can be perfectly used for collages once they have some color on them so I will use those for jelly printing and there will be definitely a video in the future um, where I'm sharing uh, these papers with a jelly printing session and here I have some uh, what it, it's a kind of a watercolor paper but 
to practice um, calligraphy. I think these these squares are meant to be used as a guide for Chinese calligraphy painting. Um, that's not what I wanted them for. I wanted them for because they are super thin. I like that vintagey color and I plan to use them and I have already used them um, for a collage and also to wrap um, some uh, nice gifts ju just like a, I, I gifted a little journal to someone and I just wrapped this into one of these papers and I think when you gift something to another artist it's great because um, she could use the the paper again in her projects and something else I have here also for the same reason as the paper before um, I don't know the name it it's uh, it's a it's a strange name it's listed in the video description it's a super thin paper looks like leather just very thin and it has a very interesting texture and also I love the vintagey color and I wanted to use this also for collage and it's also perfect to wrap uh, some smaller gifts. Next I have some items that I ordered for my daughter. Uh, she loves guinea pigs and she has 13 guinea pigs, uh, quite a lot. And I just bought some stuff for her to decorate her room or the guinea pig house in our garden. And I really like this one. It's a metal uh, label and I think it measures around uh, 35 by 25. I don't know, but it's listed in the video description. And this one is great as for our door outside for the guinea pig house. Um, really lovely. It's a wooden label. And then I got this canvas print which is really gorgeous I didn't expect such a good uh, quality of the print it's a canvas printed and it's available in different sizes my daughter thought this would be um, enough or big enough and you can um, frame these and we plan to just pin them onto the wooden walls in um, in the guinea pig house and I think the print is perfect. It's very nice, bold and crisp and clean. Everything is readable. And also I really enjoyed the packaging because not everything was packaged safely, I would say. Um, but this one uh, was packaged very well in this tube. And then we have a little necklace with a, I think it's a hamster charm on it but um, it looks quite similar to a guinea pig. So uh, yeah, it's, it's for girls, I would say. It's quite nice. And this is also something for my daughter. And I put it in her advent calendar and it was in, in it today. So she opened it today and she now is wearing her new little guinea pig necklace. Um, I also got a canvas tote bag and I got this for some reason because I like drawing and sketching a lot in my sketchbooks and I like to do this not only on my desk, I also like to do this on the sofa, in the garden um, or in the kitchen sometimes depending on what's going on and this is to be meant. It, this is meant to be to carry around my stuff, and I will show it to you how how I filled it. Um, I use it to put in my sketchbooks, a pencil roll, a box with crayons, and that makes it quite easy to carry it around. And I also decorated it with some pins, and I don't have sweets and there there are some also some pastel colors and I really like like that uh, bag and I used it already a lot. I also ordered some more pencil rolls and I ordered this one which is usually meant to be used for makeup 
um, but it has this plasticky flap on the top and this little case on the left. And I can't tell you how many pencils I will get in there. I didn't try that out so far, but I plan to use this for my pastel pencils. Pastel pencils are very messy and they make a lot of dust. And so this flap, this flap on the top is perfect not to um, get the du dust all over my uh, back when I go outside drawing. And the... Uh, here are some pastel pencils. I just tried them out and they are just smearing and smudging. And I think that's a really great way to protect the rucksack that I'm using. And in this little case on the left, uh, there I can put in my pen pastels. Um, these are soft pastels in little round tins and they fit perfectly into this little case. And I also can use the tools for these soft pastels and put them into the area for the pencils. And they are all protected with that plastic flap on top. And then I got another pencil roll which looked quite pretty and it is great. Um, I think you can put in 36 pencils. And there are some more, there is some more space to put in more and I will fill this pencil roll up and then we will see if I will be able to close it. Although I'm putting in some more pencils than it's meant to be for. And now it's time to find out if I am, if I am able to close this pencil roll. Um, there is a button on the inside at the end of the roll and I was not sure why it's there. And there is also a button on the outside of that string. And then I rolled it up and I could not close it because I put in too many pencils. So Usually this button would fit um, this one on the outside. So I had to take out um, some of the pencils and then I was able to close it the normal way. But there was still some string going on and um, I, was, I wasn't sure how to, how to use this and and then I gave it to my daughter and asked her to, to find a solution and tell me what the trick is all about. And she found out. And here I'm back and I'm putting out the extra pencils so I can close it the normal way. And this works out perfectly. Here you can see, there it is closed. And... The extra button, I think it's meant to be um, put on another button you have maybe on your back if you are outside. And that long, um, that long string and the button on the inside of the pencil roll, that can be used to put it around your belly if you are outside drawing and you have nothing to lay your pencil roll on and you don't want to lay it on the, bar, on, the, on the grass, on the ground, you can just tie it around your belly and you have your pencils um, to pick them up right in front of you. So that's quite a nice thing and I'm not sure if I will use this property but it was funny to figure that out. Now let's go to the brushes I ordered. I always need brushes and I need cheap brushes because I'm someone who tends to leave the brushes in water and that means they will um, be ruined quite quickly because they will soak up all the water. I just can recommend don't do it. Um, always remind yourselves to 
uh, get your pencils out of the water and clean them, uh, brushes, sorry. Um, yeah, I often forget this, so I got a bunch of normal, not very expensive pencils. Um, they are all linked up in the description and there is also a discount code for you, I think. Um, I think I will have one to put it into the video description. I already used these pencils. I like them. They work nice. They don't lose any hair. And this is the most important thing for me. And then I got some brushes. I, I think I did say pencils again. I'm sorry. And then I got some brushes um, for watercolor painting. These are mop brushes. And these are not super um, expen uh, cheap, but they are also not expensive. I think one of them is around six or seven euros. Um, I will link them up also in the description and I have already painted with them and there are some um, watercolor videos coming next week and the week after where I, um, I'm i going to use the one of the brushes and I have used them all so far and I am very happy with them and I am surprised about the quality. They are synthetic, so it's no animal hair, but they take such a big amount of water, which is great for um, big watercolor paintings. And also, none of them has loosened any of the hair, which is also very important, I think. And I try to remind myself not to leave these brushes in the water because, um, yeah, and I also think about getting some more of them because I really enjoyed these brushes. Next I got a some watercolor palettes. I got these two tiny empty ones. This one I have already filled and I have it on my desk for my journal. When I do some daily journaling, I sometimes add in some color and it has 24 little areas to put in paint. These are both so cute. The other has 12 and this is perfect for traveling and when you go on holidays and want to take some paints or when you go outside sketching. And then I got these watercolors and I did not get them for the watercolors. I got them uh, for the palette uh, because I wanted to have a paint palette where I can put in my Distress ink pad reinkers. So just a drop of the ink to then use it with a brush and color in stamped images. And there is an original paint palette available for this, um, for the inks, but it's quite expensive compared to this palette. And it also does not have so many, so many pens and the only thing I now have to do is get out these paints from the palette. Um, I was not able to do this because I didn't want to ruin my fingers or the palette itself. So I gave it to my husband and he was so kind and he put out all the paint cakes and I, I have to say I threw them away. I did not try them out and I did not expect them to be very high quality because of the super uh, cheap price. Um, but of course it's something you could give to your kids and then use the empty palette. Um, but my kids unfortunately don't like painting very much. So I just threw the paints away. And I also got this bucket for water and I'm using it regularly and I love it because it's not so big and it's very useful um, because of the texture it has on the bottom to clean the brushes. That palette on top which makes the lid is not very good and I haven't used it. It just I just put it into a drawer but I like that bucket. Um, it's perfect. It holds the brushes and it is not so big, so perfect for an art desk. And as I said, I, I have al it's already in use on my desk. I use it daily and it's just perfect. I just can recommend this one. Um, I will now have a quick little demo 
of the of the watercolor brushes I got. Um, so you can see how they are performing. But as I told you, I will make there there will be a watercolor painting video where I use them. Yeah, and here I just play a little bit in my art journal. I hope you enjoyed this uh, haul video. And yeah, I wish you a lovely rest of the week. And there will be a new art video on the weekend. Bye.